Oh, by the way, I wasn't suggesting they don't care about liberating uh, territory. It is wrong morally and strategically to allow a country like Russia to conquer parts of a neighboring country. What I'm worried about is the reality, economic reality setting in. You have voices on the American right already saying that no one's protecting the American southern border with Mexico or that uh, not enough is uh, being spent on infrastructure in America and more is being spent on Ukraine. I'm just saying there may be increasing voices like this, and there may not be an open-ended support for Ukraine. And Ukraine may strategically be in a rather good position now, having had some battlefield victories, to maybe try and negotiate from a position of strength. Um, maybe, I don't know, Putin, who's had a disastrous war, may also wish to have an opt-out at this point. And my, my cynicism is that there are certain people in Washington that want to bleed Russia as much as possible, and they're quite content with this war going on, with Ukrainians doing the fighting for them. They don't know Americans have to die. And I am worried that Ukrainians, in the end, won't get much of a better deal than they might get if they negotiate now, only that there'll be hundreds of thousands more dead and injured and refugees by the time we get there after several years.